Hey there, today we're going to be going over using a sprite sheet to create a blinking effect on a 3D model. And I'm going to be roughly going over the entire process from 3ds Max to 3D Coat, Photoshop, and then going over the final product within Unity and talking a little bit about the code that actually runs the sprite sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into 3ds Max and show you a little bit about the breakdown of the mesh itself. So here we are in 3ds Max, and the geometry is actually pretty simple. We have the original character geometry, and then we've just duplicated the eye geometry times two. Now this what is enabling us to have a separate texture for both the eye as well as having a sprite sheet for the eyelid for the blinking. And I actually ended up repurposing the eye geometry for essentially creating a highlight within the eye every time the character blinks. And now let's go into 3D code so we can talk a little bit about each of the UV channels. The UV channel for the character itself is very standard. There's nothing special going along with it. And then we have the UV for the eye and the eyelid, which actually has the exact same UV. And we do this to ensure that the sprite for the eyelid is correctly covering the eye itself. And once all the base textures have been completed, we're going to be taking that base eyelid texture and importing it into Photoshop where we're gonna be turning it into that sprite sheet I talked about. So here we are in Photoshop, where we have that initial lid texture that I've expanded in the X direction by eight. And that enables us to essentially create eight frames of animation for the eyelid. And that may be tough to see right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background color and enable the wireframe for the UVs. Now we can more clearly see the image and its relationship with the UV island as well as how the image is changing over our eight frames of animation. And this was achieved by taking that initial texture all the way on the right and then we're going to be masking out more of that texture as we move to the left. So now that we have the mesh and all the textures we're going to need, let's go into Unity and put it all together. And for this we're going to be working with three different materials. For the character itself, we're just using a simple unlit shader. For the eye, we're gonna be using an unlit transparent shader with the base render queue. And we'll also be using an unlit transparent material for the eyelid. But we're gonna be changing the render queue so it is rendering after the eye. We're also changing the tiling of the X direction to be 0.125. And we're doing that because we are dividing one by eight for each of our eight frames. And that lets us move at a constant rate or a constant distance across the sprite sheet. And then within the hierarchy, we just have each of our objects with the proper material applied to it. But then we have a script that we've attached to the lid sub object of the character and has a public reference to the mesh renderer of the eye, which we're going to be using to add a little bit of eye jitter when the character blinks. So let's go ahead and hop into Visual Studio and look a little bit closer at the blinking script itself. And the first thing we have is the eye renderer, which is that public field that I just showed you for the mesh renderer of the eye. And then we have a private mesh renderer for the lid. And then we have an int for the frame count, which we're setting to eight. And if you haven't realized by now, everything is either eight or divided by eight or has an eight in some way. In Awake, we're just getting the mesh renderer of the lid, and then within Start, we're starting the coroutine blink that's going to handle the blink as well as the timer in between each blink. Going down to the blink coroutine, the first thing we have is a float that is going to be taking care of the speed of the actual blink. Below that, we have a while loop that's going to be running while the game object is active within the scene. And the first thing we're going to do is have a wait that is going to have a random range of 5 to 10. And that's just for demonstration purposes so we can have a what is a seemingly random eye blink. And then we're going to have our first loop, which is going to be counting up within the frames. So we're going to be going through 0 to 7 frames, which is going to be scrolling over that texture sheet at the speed we've determined. And once we've played all eight frames of the animation, we're going to do an eye shift where we're going to be creating a vector two, and we're going to be getting a very small range of negative 0.04 to 0.04. And then we're setting the texture offset of the eye renderer material using that new eye shift vector two that we just created. And once we've done that, we're going to have a small wait to have the eye closed for just a split second. And then we're going to more or less be repeating what the first loop did, but backwards. We're going to be counting back from the 
what is the last frame to the first frame so we can open the eye again. And all of this here is basically a timer as well as the speed at which the eye is blinking as well as how often it's blinking. The sprite sheet itself is being handled in this set new frame function below where we're going to be passing in the frame index. Where we're creating a new vector to where the x value is going to be that frame index multiplied by one that's being divided by our frame count. So our frame index, let's say it's going to be two. And since our frame count is eight, we're going to get that 0.125 that was in the material previously. So we know that we're going to be moving over 0.25 in the x direction of the texture. And since we only have one row on the texture, we only need to be moving the x. The y is going to be remaining at zero. Then like the eye renderer before, we're going to be setting the texture offset of the main texture using the vector two. And that covers just about everything. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.